Ping pong, also known as table tennis, is one of the most popular games in the world with over 40 million players worldwide. Almost everyone has played at the park or in someone's backyard, and just like any other game, the better you are at it, the more fun it is to play. Now, I'm going to show you how you can improve your ping pong skills and have more fun playing. First, let's look at some basic skills, starting with how to hold the paddle correctly. Learning to use the correct grip is important because the grip controls the angle of the paddle, which in turn affects the speed, direction, and spin of the ball. The two main grips are the pen hold grip, which is used mainly by the Chinese, Japanese, and Korean players, and the shake hand grip. The shake hand grip is used by the majority of players in the Western world and has the advantage of being easy to use for both the backhand and the forehand. With the shake hand grip, the racket handle is held in the palm of your hand so the bottom edge of the racket head fits snugly in the V shape formed between your thumb and first finger. Now, let's take a look at the three basic racket angles. When the racket is held in the vertical position, the angle is referred to as neutral. It's the position your paddle should be in when you're waiting for your opponent to hit the ball. When the striking surface of the paddle is tilted downwards, the angle is referred to as closed. And when the striking surface is angled upwards, the angle is referred to as open. A closed racket angle is also generally the angle most used for the basic stroke and to produce topspin on the ball. The typical ready stance consists of a forward crunch with your knees slightly bent, feet shoulder width apart, and your left foot slightly forward. Most players move with a side to side shuffle, which allows them to face the table at all times. Now that we know the basics of grip, paddle angle, stance and movement, let's look at the forehand stroke. The basic forehand drive is a light topspin stroke that produces a shot with a low arc. Rotate your upper body and forearm to your right, keeping your racket face slightly closed. Then swing forward with your forearm with a slight upward motion while still keeping the paddle face somewhat closed to give the ball topspin. Now, let's take a look at the backhand. Like the forehand, the basic backhand drive is a light topspin stroke that produces a shot with a low arc. As you make contact, rotate your wrist upwards so the back of your hand is facing the top of the table, brushing your paddle over the top half of the ball to create topspin. Table tennis is truly a sport for everyone, and regardless of age, strength, or gender, it's a game that's fun, social, and easy to learn. And when played well, it's a wonderful aerobic exercise that also helps develop your mental focus and your concentration. So don't move your elbow. You okay. have to stay here. Sue's yeah. good. She's yeah. great. She's uh, she taught me a lot today. Um, Keep that low. Yeah. It's great to be uh, getting taught by some of the best ping pong players in the world. I hope you've learned some basic ping pong techniques in this video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.